does the energy feel here on property tonight? What's your take? So uh, overall on the property, it felt pretty heavy tonight. This is only my second time here and my first time really trying to investigate it. As we walked up through the front door, when you were unchained the, the lock to the door, there was two women outside, um, presumably were smoking cigarettes and they were kind of chatting about the things that were going on in the building. Do you potentially have like maybe a name, anything that could identify this person specifically? His first name is Carl. Can you throw something, stomp the floor? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. These gentlemen here just uh, want to see you as well. This is where people came to die. You can't treat people as subhuman and not leave some sort of permanent mark behind after that treatment. So I just walked in. Yep. We're supposed to get better when we come to a building like this, but it seems like people didn't get better and many times they didn't come out alive. Back spirit. Oh my god. Class A, you're gonna die. How many spirits do you think are here right now if you're hundreds of them? sights and sounds of Pennhurst, the state institution for the mentally retarded. It's located in Spring City, Chester County. Today, we no longer punish the mentally retarded. We don't exploit them either. Now, we ship them 25 miles out of town to a state-operated institution and forget them while they decay from neglect. There is not only a shortage of help here at Pennhurst, but also a lack of money and an overextension of professional duties. There was one attendant for perhaps 50 severely and profoundly retarded children. Lying on the floor naked and smeared with their own feces, they were making a pitiful sound, a kind of mournful wail that it's impossible for me to forget. This is what it looked like. This is what it sounded like. But how can I tell you about the way it smelled? It smelled of filth, it smelled of disease, and it smelled of death. Because only 7% of the children at Penhurst are enrolled in rehabilitation projects. Why? because the institution does not have the staff nor the facilities, not to mention money to expand its programs. While these 200 children learn cooperation and development of emotional response, many others rock in silence in their stench-filled, overcrowded cottages. While some children are afforded the opportunity to go on a picnic and bask in the sun, others lie awake in their beds, shackled like prisoners, punished, because they cannot control themselves and their illness. What would you like? If I can give you anything I could in the world, what would you want? Oh, I'd like to get out of Penhurst. Ironically, Penhurst is one of my favorite places that I've ever been to. It's a place where ghosts are real. It's a place where the paranormal is alive, where you can touch the other side. Back when I first visited Penhurst back in 2019, I encountered a ton of very, very bizarre paranormal things. There were doors slamming. There were spirit voices. I even heard the sounds of screaming echoing throughout the tunnels beneath the old asylum. I came away from that investigation shaken to my core. And after my return trip to Penhurst, I can confidently tell you that that place is seriously haunted. I mean, with so many deaths, so much misfortune and misery plaguing a place, it has to leave a mark. I was actually just at Penhurst a couple weeks ago with Elton and Corey from TFIL, I'm going to be in their video that they're posting from Penhurst. So yeah, I've been to this place a lot recently and it's become almost a part of me. I love Penhurst, but on this night that I visited, things definitely took a bit of a darker turn. And go for it. 
Hi there, my name is Jim Werner. I'm the operations manager here at Pennhurst Asylum. Uh, we're going to be telling you guys a little bit about the history of our site uh, and why it is such an important place. Behind me here is the admin building, which is one of the most iconic views of our property. When you search Pennhurst, this is probably the building that's going to show up in the first photos. The building behind me actually wasn't the first administration building. Uh, it wasn't opened until the 1920s. Our uh, main building, Philadelphia building behind it, was the original admin building. So the Pennhurst site opened up in 1908, but before it opened up, it answered a question of what do we do with people with disabilities? How do we cope with them in society? This was a flawed question in the 1900s, 1901. What do we do with these people? Because we can't keep them where we are keeping them. And where they were keeping them was in prisons. They were putting disabled children in group homes, workhouses, and prisons. Clearly not the answer. So they said, what do we do? Well, what they did was they built a city. They built these huge complexes out in the middle of nowhere, away from society, where these people could supposedly be prosperous and, and could live quality lives. In 1908, Penhurst opened. It was uncompleted when it opened. Most of uh, the buildings right we see here were not completed yet. They weren't completed for many years later. But patient one, and sometimes they were even referred to as prisoners, were welcomed in in 1908. By 1912, before the site was even complete, there was already letters being written to the state that it was overpopulated. There was too many people here to be managed by the staff that they have, and they needed increased funding. Sadly, over the continuous 80 year history of this property, that continued again and again and again that there was too many people and not enough funding. Over time, they started finding more creative ways to bring people in here. Remember, we're talking about a population here who were disabled, whether it be they had mental capacities that weren't up to uh, the normal levels for society, whether they were physically disabled. The original name was the Penhurst State School for the Feeble-Minded and Epileptic. Both of those words were completely misused compared to our modern knowledge. Feeble-minded back then meant literally anyone who just didn't toe the company line of society. It was anybody who was different. And then epileptic, nowadays we think of it as a seizure disorder or a collection of seizure disorders, but epilepsy back then was just someone who couldn't control their bodily movements. So anybody with any sort of spastic condition or who wasn't following orders would be deemed epileptic. And those kids were shoveled off here. Parents would drop them off, group homes would drop them off, orphanages would drop them off, because Penhurst, per society, was where they belonged. And that's one of the, the major problems with a place like this. When you have a collection point for humanity, especially humanity's unwanted people at the time, no one cares to check up on it. It's just a solution. You just, well, you threw them in there and they're fine now. That's where they're supposed to be. And over time, it exceeded the capabilities of this facility. It exceeded the capabilities of the workers. It exceeded the capabilities of everything. And because of that, you ended up with abuse. You ended up with neglect. You ended up with every kind of abuse that can be levied upon a marginalized people was levied upon the people here. And do you think that left a stain? I do believe that this place carries those scars. You can't treat people as subhuman and not leave some sort of permanent mark behind after that treatment. I'm sorry. What <laughs> we got some good stuff there. What the fuck? What happened, dude? Look at it. Just reformatted. Didn't even touch it. What the hell? Well, hopefully we can recover that. I hope so. I can always go again. Go for it. Uh, so there's this African-American lady who's been following us around. And she's been talking to me. And primarily she was back at that house where you said that they pulled the lamp down. And yeah. it's when I asked you if anybody had ever committed like suicide here or not. And you were like, oh, no. But she kept making me feel like she was strangled to death. And as I'm coming over here, and I don't know, like I'm bad at direction, so I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not sure where I am as, as opposed to where we were. But what I can tell you is, is we're coming down here off the ramp and getting over into the woods. There's this woman who's the same African-American lady, and she's like, they're trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. And she just keeps saying it over and over again. So I don't know what part of the property she belongs to or what time frame she might belong to, but she's over here and she's very serious well, and upset. If the first encounter that you had with her was over when we were at the front of the hospital, we are right now on the far end of the hospital. We are the other side of the structure. 
but we are about to enter part of that structure. So let's see how she interacts with you when we actually go in the building. Okay, cool. Wow. The hospital structure for the majority of its existence was the largest set of buildings. It is hundreds of thousands of square feet and it transitioned across multiple bridges. And the infirmary, once we round the corner here, you'll see is the most topmost portion of the entire hospital structure. The infirmary is divided into multiple large dormitories. These dormitories were mass housing units where you'd have 10 to 12 to 20 people in a, in a pod area. They would be treated by central nursing stations who would fan out, check them, come back. There was procedure rooms, there was bathrooms, there were showers. You name it, if it existed in a hospital, it existed in this structure. And once again, as this was the hospital, when people are sick, people die in hospitals. So a great number of the deaths that took place on this property happened in the structure that we're about to enter. <laughs> Let's just watch out, the storms are starting to grow in a bit here. Hmm. Yeah, I've never actually seen this building. I don't think I've seen it on my last tour. No, I didn't see this either, man. This was just kept in the back. Yeah, I didn't even know this was here. Like I said, there's this small window where they finished all of the remediation clean out. Right. And because they finished that, and they haven't started doing any demolition activity, the building is safe to be in. It's structurally sound, it's just in a terrible location. Let's see how hot it is in here. Oh, shit. Now, the infirmary is a large oh. uh, with two hallways. So you have one hallway running this way, and then two hallways running off of it like legs, like a giant, if you were to look at it from above, it would look like a giant U shape. Both of these halls have had numerous accounts. I mean, it's only been available to select investigators over the last couple of months. We're talking numerous. I saw this, I heard this, this touched me, this happened repeatedly again and again and again. Um, leading us to believe that this, this space has the potential to be one of the more haunted areas on property, even, even maybe eclipsing uh, Devon and Mayflower. The infirmary has definitely gained a lot of infamy as an extremely par uh, paranormally active area. And um, so hundreds of people died here, right? Absolutely, yes. This is, this is the building where people would come to die of the various uh, physical ailments, long-term disease, would, this is where they would go in the final end stages of life. So basically this is where people came to die. This is where people came to die. Right. This right. room's kind of special. This is the dental room. This is the room where the, the horror stories of Penhurst, one of the most common repeated stories of Penhurst is, well, they ripped, they ripped teeth out. They ripped teeth out, they ripped teeth out. And on the surface that is, that is horrible. My God, they ripped these kids' teeth out. Why would they do that? For the majority of the existence of this place, when a developmentally disabled person would bite or have, you know, laying in their bed and start chewing on the side of their bed, they'd break their teeth. They'd start tearing up their gums. They'd be bleeding. They would bite other residents. They would, they would bite themselves and start chewing on themselves. There was no therapies to stop this behavior. There was no medications at the time to curb this behavior. So the answer, as barbaric, barbaric and archaic as it is, the answer was that they have to remove their teeth. It's, it's a sad consequence of not having enough staff, of not having the correct level of support that they needed throughout the history of this place. Um, this is actually um, how amazing it is. This is the protective chair. Thing. Well, this is where the doctor's chair would be in this corner. We actually know where this chair is. It's at a museum in Las Vegas, and we have permission that when we can gather up the funds to get out there to pick it up, we're allowed to bring it back. Um, so this is the dentist room. This is a, a high point for investigation. I, I highly recommend taking some time. That's a two dental. And that was the original stencil uh, that was redone by um, one of our historians. There's the remnants, you can see some of the debris of the playground that existed for the hospital. Um, very sadly, 
during the remediation of this structure, that playground was irreversibly damaged, which is something we were very, very sad about. This looks like the set of a horror movie in here. I think so. You know? This space here was a kitchen. Uh, we have freezers and refrigerators uh, built into the building itself. Uh, there's an office. This is where meals were prepared for the staff and the residents that lived up here. They also would bring um, meals from the main dietary uh, building, which is no longer here, up to this space to disseminate out to everybody. Um, another very interesting space here, we get a lot of reports of residual haunted activity, the sounds of, of plates crashing and pots banging and, and just general, you know, kitchen-y style noises. Um, um, so more of a residual space in here. This doors here lead to the sky bridge that leads to the other, the other part of the hospital. We do encourage people to film through the doors, down across the sky bridge, just to kind of take a look down that way. Um, when it, the sun is up, this walkway here goes straight out and drops off into nothing where that other building collapsed. It literally, you'd walk, <laughs> if you were to close your eyes and walk straight here, you'd go about 150 feet and then you'd fall about 40 feet straight down. Holy shit. Yeah, that's why it's heavily boarded, Wait. completely blocked off. <laughs> Wait, it, makes sense. it drops down there yeah. in a hole? So at the end of that, it just yeah. drops off into a hole. This area leads down into uh, the basement of this structure. Um, we post people up here and encourage things like EVP, um, EMF. There's no electricity here, so EMF is uh, very reliable in this space because there is no electricity, so right. you're not picking up anything. Um, but some of the reports out of the basement are of disembodied voices where people hear people talking down there. There's no one down there. This is this is it. This is the only way down. So we don't let people down there. So there is no one down there. So yeah. if you're hearing people down there. So the building is, is open to you guys as I've shown it to you. Check it out, look around, investigate, explore. You know, it, it really is just, it's your space while you're here. I want you to yeah. really make sure you, you capture it Oh, we're going to do it for sure. Do when you, is this getting demolished? This building? We don't know. That's don't the know. thing. We don't know. But it will happen within five years. It will definitely. It, it seems like it's going to happen within five years. It seems like it might happen within a year or two. Okay. So we have a lot of people that are very invested in this building, and we believe that this section of the building is something that we'd like to see saved. We're trying to work towards that. Mm -hmm. But they have plans for this part of the site. So okay. it's it's not part of the main core, right. it's kind of offset, so there's plans for it. So we're trying to balance how to make something like this stay while still meeting the overall needs of the property because if the rest of the property doesn't get developed, then the core is at risk. What is there anything else you should show us here that's down here? Um, well, so let me show you the nurses' stations and then the bathrooms are, we also, uh, there's some rooms that were kind of like, we can't, we can't make it safe to go in the room, but we've left them open for viewing. So they have windows looking at So we tried, like these doors, I moved these doors so you can still see into some of the rooms. Um, I can't even get it. You'll notice that this side here is kind of blocked off where these were two different wings. On the other side, you can walk straight through here. Wow. So it's all open. Um, and then, you know, the bathrooms and stuff, the end rooms here. And then once again, you're still gonna get that organic outside sound, mm -hmm. but there's a big difference between what's the croaking and the, the crickets and whatnot, and, and actually hearing voices in here, which is something that is a very common experience. Um, you'll also notice, I can get loud, and I'm still not really echoing that well. Mm. Um, there's still enough drop ceiling that the echo effect in this space is quite low. So if you do pick up any voice phenomenon, it's close. It's what was not coming from far away. How do you not sweat, dude? I don't know, man. <laughs> this is solid. I, I wish know, I hope people god, online bro. see how Seth stays dry, man. No, I'm Look just, at that. I'm just a god. <laughs> I have the best hair. Well yeah, duh. And that's just how it goes. There's no lie about that, but Jesus, you fucking see me? I'm glistening, man. It's like I just got out of the ocean or some shit. <laughs> I think we can film a lot of shit. You know what else oh, I think is a good building? Your mom. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> One question before we start. What would be the most active area in here? In here? Yeah. I'll take it to All three of us would have been in this building at, at like back in the day. We would have, well, oh, hell yeah. Here? No, maybe not died, but we definitely would have been in here. 
institutionalized? Oh, exploring. 100%. No, not exploring, just as patients. Like, uh, <laughs> 100% would have been in here. Yeah. Oh, Josh, dude, for sure. We're too curious. That's the problem. <laughs> to give you an idea, my my two youngest daughters are both autism spectrum disorder. Okay. And they absolutely, depending on the time frame, would have been sent to a facility like this. So that's why Pennhurst, like for me and my family, is crazy important. Right. Because we can't forget that places like this should never exist. Right. Not ever again. But when we're talking about really active places. Um, one thing that we've had here with our nurse's office, this door will independently move and it, it doesn't move easy. I'll let you guys mess with it. It's like there's some weight behind it. And this door will move. Um, another area we'll set up right in this room. We've heard crying. We've seen shadow figures moving in front of this door when people are in here. So you'll see residuals tapping on the windows, um, like dunk, 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 like someone's trying to get someone's attention right. on those windows over there. Very active space. Um, lots of, you know, literally. <laughs> that would be crazy so to catch. That would be this sick. This is a neat place to set up shop if you're going to do a, a more formal investigation. I would, this is a good spot to be in. I've had my own encounters and I've spoken to enough other paranormal investigators that it's this, this space right here is very active. What is like a like a common experience you see in this area? Shadow figures. Shadow figures. Shadow figures. Yeah. So you guys are well lit. I have this. Yeah, that must be freaking <laughs> terrifying. Bro. This is how I move around the buildings, and most of the time I don't even use this. But I will get shadow figures at intersections. I will walk by a place like this looking for maybe trespassers and I'll think I'll see somebody in here. So I go in the room to catch the trespasser. Right. There's nobody in the room anymore. So most of my experience are driven or job function driven. Right. But they're happening. Like you see that I like, hear, I see legit. and I go and then there's no one there. And I'm like, oh man, I wish this place wasn't so haunted because I'm just trying to find the dude who's broken in. Yeah, <laughs> you're just doing your job and they're right. out here. Right. Yeah. And, they're we out here other, we have, and a lot of our other workers on our security team and all those crew, it's the same story. Where we'll pursue these phantoms, right? Thinking there are people that have broken in, and there's just no one there. Damn. So that's a common, and it, it's so it happens so often that we're just kind of used to it. Like, okay, I guess there are ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> we just let it go. But moving the hallways, shadow figures in this space, shadow figures are absolutely. We'll see people walk across doorways. We'll see when I'm walking here. If I'm backlit, suddenly there'll be more shadows than there should be. Hmm. Damn. You know? That's so, a little creepy. Yes. It is. That, that one's kind of a not pleasant experience. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott. I'm a medium and a psychic. I'm hanging out here at Pennhurst Asylum with some of the coolest investigators going. And we're looking for the spooky, the unexplained, and the downright evil, perhaps. Mm -hmm. We're going to check it out. Something I've been sensing since we walked into this building is a gentleman in a lab coat. I'm going to have to assume that he is a doctor of some sort. But what's interesting is he keeps telling me I'm never going to live this down. And I felt as though he may have had more to do with helping people pass than trying to save them at some point. And that might make sense since we're in the infirmary now. Mm. I don't know what the history is of any doctors who might have worked here or anybody who might have been responsible for the care of the people here in the infirmary. But I've been told that more people have passed in this building than anywhere else on the property. The interesting thing about the infirmary is from my days in the military, I would say that we're supposed to get better when we come to a building like this, but it seems like people didn't get better and many times they, they didn't come out alive, unfortunately. And I feel like there may have been an unscrupulous man here who decided that he would help them along. There's a lot of cases like that in the United States. I don't know if anything like that is ever documented here, but we're gonna to try to make contact with that doctor and at least two of the staff that I saw walking around as well. I can tell you they're not very happy about us being in here um, and hopefully they can, uh, can make that shown physically so we can get some footage and show that they're here to everybody else in the audience. How does the energy feel here on property tonight? What's your take? So uh, overall on the property, it felt pretty heavy tonight. This is only my second time here and my first time really trying to investigate it. Aside from the humidity, the actual spiritual pressure has been pretty heavy. 
walking through the halls here, I had a couple incidences where I felt like some sharp pains in the middle of my back and also in, in one of my kidneys. I think that I may have walked into somebody who had some serious kidney issues and they were making me feel some of that pain. And uh, I also had been seeing some spirits that were presenting themselves as people who were probably very physically m malformed. And I, I don't I say that with the greatest empathy. Um, I saw them walking through here as they probably were in life. They were holding onto the guardrails. Uh, they were barely clothed. They seemed pretty dirty, unfortunately, unkept um, by the staff here. And it seemed that they were just trying to make it from one to the other, one spot to the other. So uh, that energy is definitely lent to, I think, especially you guys coming off a second night of investigating, feeling more tired than you might. Um, I'm fresh out of the box, so I'm feeling it. I'm able to keep some of it off, but the entire time we're doing it, I have a lot of pressure on my stomach, which is telling me that there are a lot of energies here trying to interact with all of us. Well, that's what I like to hear, man. I want to I wanna be interacted with. Yeah. Me too, man. Let's get it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's start it. Let me wipe the sweat off real quick. The energy that you've been, the spirit energy that you've been feeling, do you feel that he was necessarily responsible for some of the deaths here, or do you feel that he just kind of helped them along? I feel as though he felt a responsibility to, I don't know how to say this the right way without sounding cruel. Uh, they were going to pass, and him taking care of them may have prolonged their life. Okay. So maybe the care wasn't as good as it could have been right. in order to help them pass quicker than, than they would have if he had provided top-notch care that he, he could have provided. So you think okay. he has a lot of guilt? Yes. As we walked up through the front door, when you were unchained the, the lock to the door, there was two women outside, um, presumably they were smoking cigarettes, and they were kind of chatting about the things that were going on in the building uh, as they had seen it in their timeline. And this man met me at the door, and that's when he started saying, I'm never going to live this down. And it felt like a tremendous amount of guilt. Wow. So this wasn't somebody who was murderous. It was somebody who felt that they were in a position to help people, but also was going against their moral code of ethics. Almost right. like an ape death, sort of, essentially. Yeah. Well, what we can do is also do EVPs Right, right. And try to talk to that guy that was in the lab coat that talked to you. Maybe we can contact him. Do you, so do you potentially have, like, maybe a name, anything that could identify this person specifically? It's, it's funny because normally he would, I would think that a doctor would say I'm Dr. So-and-so, but his first name is Carl, okay. C-A-R-L. Um, or it could be his last name, but definitely I see a name tag and C-A-R-L is on there. So uh, maybe that's something that the historians here could look up and see if there was uh, a Dr. Carl or Carl or, or somebody like that that would have uh, been responsible for this, this area. Right. Well, so we'll start off with uh, a DR-60 and I think what we can also do is bring up the spirit box as well and do it all in this room. Yes. And, and then also ask where does it want us to go after this in this building, because mm -hmm. that, that might, it might want us to meet us somewhere else and talk to us in there. Great idea, man. Yeah. I gotta say, it's, it's interesting that um, you decided to come to the kitchen right away. Weird, because yeah. a doctor would not be in a kitchen, you know what I mean? Right. But That's like the one place where people wouldn't be if they're medical professionals in here, you right. know? But the fact that you decided you wanted to start here. I thought, yeah, I thought this would be a good way to start, honestly. We'll see what happens. We'll see. You never let's know. cook something up. Let's, yeah, no pun exactly. intended. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, boys. Let's go. I'm going to put the music box in the hall. Okay. You good? I got one up. Oh, oh. Hello? You look like a flashlight, bro. I know, I wasn't recording either. I, I just saw something out here. Doctor here? No, you're good. There's a door to your right. Is the doctor down here or any of the patients that'd like to talk with us right now? Man. Did you just manifest yourself as a light? And if so, can you do it again? You can feel the cold air coming from down there. I'll tell you what, it, with being completely in the dark and not being able to see anything like you guys with the night vision, I could see how you would see shadow play through here quite a bit. Oh yeah. Right. Hello? Yo, I heard for 
footsteps right down here. Did you hear it? Mm -mm. I didn't hear anything. My camera might have caught it. Is there anybody down there that would like to come up and talk with us? If someone's down there, make a noise. You guys wanna take a look at that? My arm hair is going up. That African American woman that came to me earlier, she just walked up the steps, but she's like 20 years younger now. And she's dressed as a nurse. And she's standing like right here. Was, was she a nurse when you first saw her? Her voice, it's our face. She was older, looked more weathered, but as she came up here, um, she has on red lipstick and white clothes like she'd be a nurse. But she's not talking to me now, <laughs> she's just standing here. Damn. Dude, that's crazy, the sequence of events, because I saw something down here, like an orb, and then we came down. You, he yeah. senses somebody walking up the stairs. It's like they want to yeah. you know, come and talk to us, dude. Right. Let's tell them we're going in the kitchen and to meet us there. We're going to have a yeah. chat. You want to tell them that, Scott? I feel like you're come to the kitchen, hon. Let's go. Anybody down in the basement, we're going to make some gourmet hospital food, I guess. <laughs> what is hospital food, you know? Delicious gourmet food. <laughs> Apple pie. Uh, turn that off real quick. Ugh. Does it look like the duck is glowing or something? Is that a little light in there? Yeah, man, what is that? I don't know. That, you, you're, you're talking right there. Yeah, like a little pinpoint of light. Oh, oh, I'm getting dizzy. All right. Right here? Yeah, really. Check, check this shit out. But what's happening now? Oh, dude. Oh. Full body, man. Why are you leading us down here? We wanted to go into the kitchen. balloon with like a little LED in it or something. Oh, it is. Yeah, Let's bring know. that as a trigger object to the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, dude. Say so we're gonna blow up balloon. We're gonna blow up some balloons in the kitchen if you wanna come. It was like it led us right over to this thing. To the balloon. Right, which is, I saw yeah. it earlier, but it wasn't glowing earlier, so that was really weird. All dude, right, let's check I gotta say, this wing right yeah. here feels fucking dark, man. I was just gonna say the same thing. It's, you know? It's, hallway right here seems interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is like a definite like, I don't want to call it evil, but it's like a, a way more oppressive feeling in this hallway. Maybe I think more be, people died here or something like that. This whole wing is like sad. I mean, people mm -hmm. are here, they know they're most likely going to die. Like, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean they're going to die. Yeah. The infirmary, man. Yeah. Like, you don't want to be here. Yeah, no, absolutely this is, not. Of course, it's going to be a very sad way. Yeah. But there's also a lot of angry energy walking through here. Really? Yeah, so down here, there's, uh, I don't know, it's making me kind of uncomfortable, which says something, I suppose. Um, it looks like it was, all right, I pull a lot of pop, pop culture references. You guys know what a, a Stretch Armstrong looks like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Remember those old toys, the big rubber yeah. stretch guy? It's like a big black shadow that kind of looks like that. It's like a unformed person. Right. And it's kind of down at the end of the hallway, and it's all like gorilla up and it's it's a very foreboding feeling to me that's right that guarding might be, uh, guarding right. might be what you guys are picking up on yeah but i i'm seeing him pretty clearly what? <sighs> Dude, i want to get every i really want to investigate the kitchen with our tools all right let's go we can talk about one, it but one question before okay. you leave i want you can you ask if they can make a noise i feel like it's more impactful for me right now hey can you make a noise? Can you throw something, stomp the floor? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. These gentlemen here just uh, want to see you as well, or hear you. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Um, but just so you guys understand the ramification of what that was, um, that was like somebody marching down the hallway in like full 
fury of anger, and it was just that little tap on our side. So that was uh, a lot. I'm actually getting pretty sick to my stomach. I'm gonna step back away from this. We'll go into the kitchen, and then we'll come back here. And so you, so you believe that the spirit or entity that we're speaking with at this moment is not like a good per yeah, se? I don't think that one's good at all. I think it. I think that if enough bad well, things happen in a place, something. You hear the moaning? Something uh -huh. could be. This is God. I heard like moaning and stuff, but it was when Scott was talking. Yes, that's crazy. We definitely have it on camera, bro. Dude, yes. So Ooh, this is eerie. Guys. Exactly yeah. what I was saying was enough bad things happen. They sort of manifested their own protection against the other things that are around. Okay. And this may be some sort of cumulative energy that's left behind guarding the, the patients. Um, it does not have a face, and like I said, it's more of a hulking shadow than a human. So, Do you think it's human? No. It's, it's definitely just some sort of energy that's, that's put together and standing here as a guard. Imagine the scariest prison guard without a face you can think of. That's pretty much what it is. That's odd, yeah. I'm not, I've never really seen or heard things like that before. That's so yeah. interesting that you say that, man, yeah. because I was feeling this whole time oppressive from this hallway. Not this other hallway, but... but this one in general. Yeah, this right here. And this is the same if you want to go with like, oh, it looks creepy. This is the same look. But you're not feeling the yeah, same. No, but this one right here is like, there's Excellent. there's some bad juju down there, man. I don't know what it is. Let's and Scott just confirmed it. Let's just try talking this one and see how it starts. This is the hallway right here where Scott is seeing something somewhat oppressive. This is where I feel oppressive. So I'm gonna set this music box right here. And let's see if we can pick up on someone coming over here. If you're down there in this hallway, come follow my voice, walk towards us. I'm ready for somebody to come in here and make me a meal. I'm pretty hungry. The Wawa sandwich that I had at two o'clock this afternoon really didn't do it for me. <laughs> Maybe you can come in here and uh, hang out with us and prepare a meal. I'd be very grateful. My name is Colin. We are coming here only to communicate with peace and love, light. Did that just turn off by itself? That battery was on literally no 50 for dude, dude, I swear that battery was half charged just now. Dang, so there was a red light, but we're in IR, so you can't see it, but it just shut off on him. And That's we just started. Crazy. Oh, dude, right when we started too. Oh Thank you God. for doing that, whoever turned that off. We are coming here only to communicate with peace and love, light. Did that just turn off by itself? We are coming here only to communicate with peace and love, light. Did that just turn off by itself? Is that Whitey or Carl? Or maybe my young African-American woman who's been following us around? See, this lady's playing a different role now. Now she's trying to be more like seductive, I guess. She's very like attractive. And then, but outside when we were coming up here, she was very screaming, saying they were gonna kill her. Hmm. My name is Colin Brown, by the way, and I'm here with my friends. Seth. Josh. Scott. Jim. So, if anybody would like to communicate with us, like I said, you can do absolutely anything. You can set off our devices, you can make a knock on the wall, you can use your voice, but we know that you're in here, so don't be afraid of us and just, let's have a conversation. We wanna hear your voice. Here we go, I'm gonna hit record now, guys. Should we do an introduction for everyone, like while we're recording, see if they can talk to us? Sure. Okay, here we go. If there's anyone here, please come into the kitchen. 
We want to have a talk with you. We have devices set all around us, including the entrance of the doorway, that if you can come in here, they'll, we'll let, they'll, it will let us know that you're here. My name is Josh, and I'm just here to talk to you. Man, no, no <laughs> bullshit here. I feel like something just walked in. Really? Yes, when? I felt like a magnetic. I heard something pop over here. Really? I did yeah. too. I just right. wasn't sure if that was. Um, I didn't hear anything. But I feel like my hair just stood on end. The camera's gonna pick it up. Dude, I keep hearing something rustling over here. I don't know if it's dripping water or something. Yeah, it could be, but I'm just pointing it out just in case. Well, I'm gonna stop this evening because you just ruined that. But let's listen to it okay. back. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we got anything. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, it's a bat. Okay. <laughs> All right, here. If there's anyone here, please come into the kitchen. We want to have a talk with you. We have the devices set all around us, including the entrance of the doorway. And if you can come in here, they will let us know that you're here. My name is Josh, and I'm just here to talk to you. That was something. Was that? Was that yes? Yeah, that yes was. Hey, I'm going to go back one. Right. My name is Josh. Watch. And I'm just here to talk to you. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Oh. That's a woman. Oh, that's us talking. That's us. Hey. Oh. Okay, okay, so there's someone with us, and when you said someone came in here, you said it, you felt it, yeah. they're talking, dude. Yeah. There's, there's, I think it's a woman. I think you're right, dude. That woman that you're saying, I think she is here. I think so, too. Let's try to talk to her. Okay. All right, try, Scott, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit record. You just seem like she wants to talk to you. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. That went up my there ass. One. Two, three. Hey, hon, my name is Scott. I think you've been following me around the property with these boys. Is there anything that you'd like to say? Do you have a name? Were you a patient here? Were you on staff? Were you on staff? What was that? Do you hear that? Were you on staff? What was that? Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. you hear yes, that? something moved back here yes. behind Colin. It's like it might have been a bat, because there's that bat flying around. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was a sentence. Yes, clear. Holy yes. crap, dude. You're hearing that from there? Hang on, let's get in the middle. Yeah, dude. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what was hang that? on, I'm going that back. No. No. Whoa. Yo, right on on the recorder, bro. It's right when I heard something. And he says, "Right behind Colin." Rawr! Yeah, right there. They keep talking to us. They, when you said, "Were you a patient here?" It clearly says yes. Mm -hmm. If you are the person that's out here and you come in here, I just want to ask: Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? You heard that? Did you play a part in the death of any patients here at the hospital? You heard that too? And let me ask, 
Is there a long-armed spirit here? Finally, what's your name? Dude, I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me, but it feels like it just got darker, dude. You see that? Maybe we're, just, maybe we're finally adjusting now, I don't know. No, it would get brighter, bro, if you're adjusting, you know? Right. It, it seemed like the room just got like darker, man. I'm gonna play this. Okay. Good spirit? I heard bad. Hang on, let's go back. Uh, yeah, I heard bad too. Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? Bad spirit. Oh my god. Bad spirit, oh, that's dude. Good. Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? I 100% hear the word mm -hmm. bad. They talk, but we couldn't. There was an name. answer there, but we couldn't make that out. That's crazy. Dude, that was a lot. Dude, that, that was. was the word "bad" was definitely super clear. A hundred percent. Bad spirit. Yeah, yeah I thought I heard too. good, but then dang, mm -hmm. I really listened. I hear bad straight up. You want to ask another? Yeah, wanna, let's do yeah. one more. Why don't I have you ask another, man? I answered you really well. <laughs> yeah, I did honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna hit record one more, and maybe. How about we all ask a question? Yeah, we all go in an order. All right, one, two. What's your name? How did you die? If you could tell us, please. Are you the spirit giving me all of this pain in my body? If there are any spirits in this building with us, can you please give us a sign? Set off one of our devices. Please do something to let us know that we're communicating with you. What was that? You heard that? That, that wasn't you? you? No, that was a knock like down the hallway. Dude, that sounded like it came. Yeah, something touched my shoulder. Came from right something right touched my left shoulder. No way. F yes, it is. Are you still recording? Bring it over here. Ask who's touching your shoulder, man. Who's touching my shoulder right now? What's the name of the person touching me? It's okay that you're touching me, just tell me your name. All right, the sensation's gone. <laughs> okay, let's check. All right, I'm playing that shit back right now. Yeah, that sounded like a good one. All right, here we go. That was crazy, man. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Wait. Joseph, maybe? What's your name? Good guess. How did you die? Are you the spirit giving me all this pain in my body? What was that? That was dark as shit sounding. Yeah. That was a big dark no. <gasps> Whoa. Is that like no? Dude, that's what we fing heard, man.
What is that? Oh. That was clear. Yes, dude. Shit. What? Dude. Dude, it stopped the recording. As it got good. That is crazy. It literally stopped the recording. Bro, I've never had a thing stop. What the Dude, that And it sounds like it says no one. You didn't stop it, did you? No, hell no. I've never, what the, dude. That's f***ing creepy. We gotta ask that, dude, I, I gotta go back, I gotta go back to it. Cause we asked another handful of questions after that. And oh, it yeah. still just, it didn't play it back. I need to hear it. I'm sorry, going back one more time. Yeah, let's let's double check this, make sure. I've never, we've never had a DR60 just stop. Never. Ever. We've been doing this for like three years, never had it just stop midway. Never. Gotta lose this one. I hear like, uh, yeah, something. Carl, no, Carl, I don't even know. It's yeah. some void, we gotta ask it again. Mm -hmm. It's something to do with you, man. Well, we're gonna yeah, do it again. It's probably not happy I can see all of it. Now, you look, dude, every time we're talking about whatever it is, everything mm -hmm. on my body lights up like a Christmas tree. Dude. We're gonna, we gotta ask that again. Dude. No, Cause no, dude, that, that was getting clear EVPs. Mm -hmm. Like class A was about to happen and then it stopped it. Well, I'll tell you guys what's happening. I told you that I felt like I had blood or taste of blood in my mouth. Now it feels like the roof of my mouth is burned. Like if I bit something too hot, which is really strange because we're standing in the kitchen and I promise you, I did not eat anything like hot today at all. And I would have felt it during, you know, the day. And now as we're standing in here and whatever's interacting, I feel like I burned the roof of my mouth and I'm feeling that, that taste of copper in my mouth, like there's blood. Holy crap. And it only started happening in like the last 10 minutes. And that's strong because I'm chewing on a piece of gum too. So mm -hmm. there's some, something overpowering that, which is really strange. Wow, man. Damn. This is wild already, man. First room. What's your name? I'm asking very respectfully. Do you want us to leave this room and go to a different room? If so, say the word leave as loudly and clearly as possible. Scream it if you have to. I just heard a knock in the hallway. Me too. Wanna to listen to this back? Yeah. Wait, is this an old one? Yeah. yeah. The fuck? Did it not record you didn't even that? <laughs> Dude, no, I recorded it. Unless it didn't work. Dude, it's fucking with this device, man. Yeah, it might. You the DR60. Honestly. <laughs> I've genuinely never seen our DR60 defunct. No, ours never messes never. up, dude. I, I'm not even kidding. And I wouldn't want it to mess up because it's expensive. Let's try it one more time. I don't care. Sure. This is crazy. How many spirits do you think are here right now? Do you have a, a gauge? What you can feel? There are multiple layers of them. So. Four very strong ones for sure. The, the two nurses, the guy, the doctor, and the big hulking thing. But then when I was talking about the other patients that were walking through the hallway, they're another layer of, of spirit. They're probably more residual, um, but there could be literally hundreds of them. Um, it would just be a matter of opening up and, and taking a look to see, but um, it's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot to see all of them at once. But if, it, if it was to help the investigation, if we were in some place private that we knew like we were investigating, it'd be something that I'd definitely do. Next time. Yep. Do you want us to leave this place? Maybe go into the hallway or leave the building completely? If so, say the word leave as loudly and as clearly as you can. Scream it if you have to. I felt like I got punched in the face when you said that. I had a sharp pain come right through my lip. Who keeps attacking me? Do you want us to come into the hallway? Stop 
stopping it, but that was a clear after you said, do you want us to come to the hallway? Yeah, okay. Full on here. Snack. I felt like somebody, like, I don't, you said they used to pull people's teeth in this building? Is that what you're saying? That's what you're saying. I keep feeling all, like all this weird shit keeps happening in my mouth, so I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna play this back, boys. There was something at the end there. Little, yeah, it was like something yelled back and then a little sass at the end. Mm -hmm. What the f like fucking hallway or yeah. something like that. So what do you boys think? We'll go spend a couple minutes yeah, in that crazy Yeah, let's hallway. do that. Hey, bro, so here's my idea. Let's run the DR60, walk into the hallway, and be as quiet as possible for three minutes. See what we hear, see what we pick up, and then run it. Okay. Let's no do it. Talk, just yeah, walk. No one talk. Let's just see if anything pops up. Yeah. All right, or if we hear it. anything with our own ears, too. Let's do a full three minutes then. Yeah. Let's right, see what I'm going to record it now. Ready, guys? One, two, three. I know I'm kind of invading your space. Please forgive me. Last night we used this thing, it didn't go off at all. Okay, okay we reset it. <laughs> we already got activity down here. Really? Yeah, REM pod. Oh shit! Yo, it's what the f going man? on? Yo, stop making it go off. Come on. Can you please stop making it go off? What if I come over near you? Can you stop? Alright. Do you like this toy? Is this a fun device for you to play with? Yeah, let's, let's all take a spot and then start it. All right, so we can be that. quiet. Do you want to... Whoa! Dude, I have what no camera! Oh my god! What the f is that? Damn, that was my god dude. hammer, bro. Dude, I, I have that on camera. The, the, the f damn it. Off the chair in front of me. I'm gonna move one of these in this room. That is not good. Fuck, dude. Nobody touched it. No, dude, we were so far away. What the hell? All right, looks like it's still gonna turn on. Dude, we're I not know. even. Dude, no, dude, no, I have this, no this was not us, man. Look at this. this was not us. Yeah, legit, like, look at we're that. We're not making that go off. No, that's crazy. There's no way we could have made that's that go off. That's crazy. Over. It's pissed off. It's a big, big thing, I suppose. I didn't see it, but it doesn't mean it didn't come through. All I'm gonna say is if, if there's a long armed shadow man down there and you've been playing with our red pods, you've been touching that red light, approach us because we are not afraid of you and you, you're kind of scary. If you're here with us, any spirit at all, can you give us a sign? Set off one of our devices or make yourself known. Please. Dude, my f camera, bro. Look at this. What? Pause this. The second f***ing camera, dude. This. Look at this. It just reset by itself. Oh. What this is the up? other camera. Man, something is really f with us tonight. It cannot recover data? Okay, what the f***? Is going on, man. Let's That's play that back. Yeah, they're attacking your your yeah, stuff, really dude. Weird, My camera, this one first, then this one just shuts off. Yeah. Fucking fuck. 
fucks up my goddamn data. Camera, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> so just like just record roll, again. Man. Let's just listen and see if we hear I'm gonna put it on the floor, all right? Okay. Put it Where? what if you put it away from us and put it in the center? Okay, like in the put it on the REM pod or on the music box, just on top of it. It's not gonna affect it, and just leave it there. And right. we stand over here. I'm gonna set this device on the on this red light right here. If you want to come and talk to us, please go ahead and feel free. You ready? One. Two, three. Joshua said they're here. Anything you say or do can be recorded by this blinking red device. So please come over and talk to us. Thank you. Is there anybody here with us? If there is, can you give us a sign? Are there any patients in this area? If you see any of these red lights on the floor, can you please come over and put your energy into those red lights? We would love to know that you're here with us. Are you unhappy that we're here? If you are, can you please set off one of our devices? Hello? Please help us! Alright, let's play it back. We have a long one. I'm ready, man. Yeah. <laughs> Something's bound it's spooky to be in here, done. man. Well, the whole time that was happening, we were hearing something yeah. definitely yeah. there. Right there. There. That's that weird, right? For sure, man. Yeah. Some, something's in that room, and then we heard something behind us. <clears throat> a little bit in front. You have it already? Oh, yeah. snap. That's right. Fast. That was quick. Here we go. Anything you say or do can be recorded by this fucking red device. Please hold her and talk to us. Thank you. Yup. If that's you, can you step away from that device, please? That's not how that works. 
I guess. It's going to go up for about 10 seconds and then stop, so something must be in front of it moving continuously. It's standing, bro. It's right there. It's a long arm man. Can you please step away from the device that it's you're standing? It's not showing standing? me. Stop! Okay, I'm coming down there. You better stop. Stop. Guys, it's like chilly down here. <laughs> Can you stop, please? Dude, it's, it's not stepping away. I know. It's the same thing that was going to the REM pod. That's crazy. So. I'm gonna turn it back on. And if you wanna play, you turn it back on, okay? I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't see the long arm man here. So if you're a child or another patient that just wants to check these toys out, please come over and do that. We're not here to hurt you. I was only being loud so that everybody could hear me, okay? So everybody can come out of their rooms and say hello to us. Uh, I'm Scott, and there's a couple other gentlemen back here. And they're very nice, and we're just here to say Whoa. hello, okay? What was that? What, what? I just got touched on my shoulder. No, you didn't. No. Yeah, I really did. For real. What do you mean? Your, just touched? Your left shoulder? Yeah. Same, same I swear spot, to God. Same spot I got touched. I your swear to God. No, no. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Same spot I got touched. Left yeah. Shoulder. That's yeah. actually like... I feel like the first or twice no, times I've ever I been touched in my well, life. I swear to God, I swear to God, it's actually kind of exciting. I really I'll, did. I'll tell you guys, it's very rare to get touched. And if I got touched and now he got touched, I'd say that's that's pretty good. I right agree. after the phenomenon of the uh, music box going off, and I thought I turned it back on, so I don't know why the red light didn't. Stay Ain't that on. weird? Wait, is it on though? Put your hand in front of it. I, no, it's not on. I turned it. Uh, the battery's dead. What? No way. What? Yeah, turn it off and on. And Dude, I, I replace those batteries and Every I don't even- Every single video we replace the batteries. I actually don't have batteries for that anymore. If you guys want to see, um... Like for real, I have none. Hang on, let's check it out. I just bought them for it, so I don't have any. Uh, right now it's off. And uh, turning it back on, you can see the light has always come on a little bit. Yeah, really dim. And now- What the f- What the f- Wait, is it working or not? The, it's like half working? Is it? I don't understand. The light is dead. Why the f is it doing that? I don't get that. I don't know. That's I don't. Not, so if anybody out there is watching this doesn't know how the music box works, it has a continuous red light that should stay on. It was on while we were shooting, and then it just started going off for no reason and it wouldn't stop. Now we turned it back on and the red light is down all the way. This might be the symptom of a dead battery, but if you just replace the battery, that really shouldn't be the case. Yeah, no, we did. I, I don't have any more because I've already replaced them. Like, I bought them for it. I have no more. You can even hear the uh, the internal gear is, like, moving slower. Yeah, like grinding. Right. So that means that what was ever over here sucked up a lot of energy to move this. I turned it off, and about 15 seconds later, you got touched. I Dude, I know. I know. For real. Holy crap. That's okay, crazy. we have, I almost forgot, we have to at least listen back to the EVP. Yeah, yep. yeah. Let's and then, the I don't know, I might have one more in my bag, but dude, like, that thing takes two, so I bought the batteries for that. I don't know if I can even, I don't know what to see. Josh, uh, nine I gotta volt. ask you too, man. What? What happened with the touch? We never really addressed that. No, the touch was, that was like, actually so weird. I got like, just, it was like, dude, I promise you, it was just a poke. It was like a light poke. It was nothing crazy. It was just like a touch. It, that, it, was like, it was like, hey, like, I want to get your attention, hey. And normally that would freak me out, but I was excited because it never really happens to me, so that was cool. Interesting, man. Oh, no, I heard something that said freaked me out. I freaked me out. I'm freaked out, that's why, okay. So as you were talking about getting touched, somebody yeah. walked right behind you. Like, I thought it was a full-ass person. Like, a whole-ass person, walk, like, full-on, just walks by, and I moved back because I felt like my space was being invaded mm. while you're talking about getting touched. Oh, this is a well, this is a weird hallway, dude. And I know. Let's we gotta at least we gotta hear this back. Yeah. We have to hear this back now. I think it's gonna play from where we just were. So. Okay. Ready? This what is that? Yes. Oh. What's, 
What the f***? That thing is dropped down there. We never moved it. No. We gotta play that back. Yo, dude, it's literally going. It's screaming. Grr, grr. Good, but when I get those, dude, I get freaked the f out. That's, I always have to grab someone, bro. Because ever since that one time with the chief in yeah, the Salem, uh, nice. wait, we have to hear that back. Hey, my arm is here for you. Man. Yo, they said that. I, yo, I never grabbed someone's <laughs> arm like that. That's good. That, that was incredible, crazy. though. Dude, that's that was savage, the, that, that was a class A EVP, 110 days, dude, every day. Yes. Beautiful. But yeah, you know, you good. know what's good about it is we we left it on a non-moving yes. table. Yes, Nothing. Yes. Just sitting there. Oh, let's hear that again. Let's, let's hear that again. I'll run, I'll run it back. Hang That's on. Wow, man, so fucking intelligent, bro. You couldn't even tell what it said. All you know is that that definitely screamed back at Dude, you. Dude, it was like, ah, you know? Like, it had a tone to it. It yeah. wasn't just, ah. it had like a, ah. There's only one thing to do. Try it again. Yeah, dude, of course. 100%. Let's do it again. Okay. One more time, baby. Let's do it again. Okay, let's try you want to set it up, Seth? Yeah, I got it. Get out, man, this is crazy. That was Call and response, dude. That was a call and response? That was call and response to call and. Oh, right, right. Well, yeah, yeah. Hashtag call and response. Yeah, right, if I you got, want to tweet us. You, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Dude, this room feels kind of bad, dude. It's, while we were recording all that, I kept thinking somebody was walking past. Oh, past the dude. Right there. Dude, genuinely step in here, man. Nope. Okay. This is like, it feels like a wall, bro. Do you feel oh, like? Oh yeah. Or is that just me? No, I got the edit too. Yes, it's so all thick, man. As soon as they're done talking, I'm, I'm ready. All right. all right, yes. To whatever spirit just screamed at us, I'm gonna place this device here again. Please talk to us more if you would like. Three, two, one. I'm gonna walk away. All right. Hello? Are you down at the end of this hall? Do you have long arms? Hello? Dude, there's something came in here now. Just now, man. Can you come out and talk to us? Did you guys just hear a voice? I didn't hear anything, but you know what the is going on here. 
We don't have any devices further. No, are you right? seeing that too? Yeah, there's like a little there's light There's like a there. light down there. I don't know if it's another one of those balloons, but then there's like light going up too. I don't know if it's reflections. Can you move around out there, please? Are my eyes adjusting or are those lights like turning on and off or something? I can't tell. Oh, here we go. My, everything is turning electricity around me. Hello? It just died. My infrared light just died. Look at this. Oh, it just turned back on. What the hell? You see that? <laughs> Come over and say hello to us. Did you hear that squeak? Yeah, yeah. that was in, I think, back that here, room. man. This room. That was in that room. Can you tell us your name? Were you a patient? Were you a nurse? Were you a doctor? If you did die in this wing, are you still here? Any other questions? No. no I'm ready to listen. Yeah. I'm gonna take this device away. Yeah, that weird. It's not even like a tapping. It sounds like a like something's pricking the bar on the music box. Yeah, that's right. weird. I went to go and grab the the device, and I just felt like somebody was watching me. That freaked me. Yeah. Well, I have news for you. There's a lot of things watching us. Nice. <laughs> Happy you're here. <laughs> or anything I could do to bring comfort. Walk away. What the f is that? Don't know. Is that I'm here? Hold up, that was something. That was um. Yes, no? That was a yes. Play the whole thing back. There's some people talking. There was, a, there was, a, there was talking. really, really yep. clear and it was like, be quiet. Yeah, there was a few things going on. Watch. Let's listen Super and just don't say anything so we all our cameras can pick it up and then we can add the text to it. I'll finish playing it and then I'll play it back. Again. Yeah, because this is actually crazy. had a response. response. I agree. Which is really wild. You don't get that. Not anywhere. all the time. No. Not all the time. Is that all? A we light just it. went off behind us. A light just went off behind us. Bro. What could have all right, well. <gasps> what? 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 Okay, did, I thought I heard like a dog bark or some shit. Did you fucking hear that? No. No. Hellhounds? Okay, I'm not even fucking with you, man. Hell right hell here. Hell it hell was like. Like that. Really? Yes, right here to Dude, our left. Dude, I swear I just saw a blinking light right here on the well, floor. Well, there was a music box down there, and now the light's off. Well, hear that? There is something in that room. 
Just heard more shit. If somebody's here with us, can you make yourself known, please? I'm going. Hello? Oh my gosh, I'm stepping into a swimming pool. My name is Scott. It's nice to meet you. Would you like to come out and say hello? Did you hear that? Mm hmm. Yeah. That's what I heard. Can you do that again? Yo, I feel like somebody's standing right on the right side of me. Like, every bone in my body is chilled right now. Can you make another noise for us, please? Do you see? Is there glass there? Is there? No, I don't think there. No, there's no glass. Dude, there. it looked like somebody walked right, like right, like right the, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly right there. Yes. That's supposed to be the most haunted room here, right? Or is it the other side? No, that's it. That's supposed to be the most haunted room. That one right there? Yeah, that's what the is guy it? said. I felt like there was somebody walking past and it was like glass, so that means it was translucent and you saw it as well. Right. Uh, hopefully my hand wasn't in front of my body cam here and I'll uh, capture whatever that was. No, and I, I put my hand right where you thought you saw it. Yes, exactly where I thought I saw it. Right here. Weird. This is absolutely one of the most haunted buildings I've ever been in in my entire life. Really? And that, 100%, that's saying something, because I, I investigate a lot. Um, in this place, it's more about the shared reactions of each of us and how many different things keep happening and the fact that we ask about something and something answers. Or you yell and something yelled back. Do you know how incredible that is? Mm-hmm. Honestly. You, you could do that in a thousand locations and never hear anything sure. back. Right. The only That's other true. time I had something like that happen was at Rolling Hills Asylum in New York. I was yelling out for a spirit named George. And eventually, after about three or four times, I called an AVP that just said my name. It just went, Scott. Just wow. like that. And it was like, holy shit. Just like how we all just acted. Imagine a, a ghost says your name back. So when you got that call and response like that, that was incredible. That's a level 10. That You're not finding that in any other place. I've never seen that. Dude, Colin, come try to move this door. Tell me not, this is this is a heavy door. If this thing closes, there's no way that's us. You trying to say I got big muscles? Yeah. <laughs> no. Thanks. You're a big dude, you know? You're like oh so my god, dude. Yeah, right? apparently it's that a moves. Heavy door. This feels like someone's like pushing on it, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. To keep it shut. Maybe we can try to get one of them to move the door, but let's go in it and then place some stuff down. Alright. Tap back in again, huh? Yeah. Right. Should we just record one DR the whole time and just leave it? And we'll, when we leave, we play it back? Yeah, let's try it. Do you have it? Yeah, in my back pocket, yeah. Yeah, we'll just slap it somewhere in there in and there. just leave it. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, that's the nurse's quarters. This is it before we go in fucking Skippy's tunnel. <laughs> yeah, baby. When you guys are ready. Ready. Three, two, one. Can you close the door in front of us? What was this room used for? Was that you? Are there bad spirits in this building? Can you tell me if heaven is real or not? Oh. That's outside. 
Is that you? If it is, please give us another sign. Make another noise. We're gonna leave if you don't slam this door for us. Do you want us to leave? That was a rim pod. I heard it too. Mm -hmm. Can you do that again? <clears throat> Is it break time? Do you want to step outside for a smoke? How do you guys feel? Um, I don't know how I feel at the moment. I'm like, oh, I'm an average, like relaxing at the moment. But I think we'll play it back, see what happens, and we'll head over to the next building. I, I'm hoping like a nurse talked back. That's yeah. what I want to hear. Let's see. Yeah. Man, I just feel like somebody's like kicking me in the gut. I feel like I got kicked in the ass. Yeah, you getting tired? Yeah, my feet also hurt from yesterday's trek. I had bad shoes on. All right. All right, baby. Here we go. Let's, Let's see just what play it back. That was a great one. <gasps> You're gonna die? What, what is that? What that? I don't know. That, bro? Play it again. One more time. One more time. Everyone listen. You're gonna die. Yo. You're gonna die. Yeah, is that what it says? That's what it sounds like to me. You're gonna what? die. Incredible. One more time. Yes, please. And, all right, let's just. It wait, does wait, say wait, you're wait, gonna wait. die. Go back again. No! That's also right there. Fuck. No. You're no, gonna you're gonna oh. die. Class A, you're gonna die. It says, <laughs> no, you're gonna, gonna die. die. Is there a heaven? No, you're, you're gonna, gonna die. die. That's actually one of the darkest EVPs I've ever, that's ever right captured. Right when he's saying that he's Yo. going supercharged too, man. Dude, I feel like... That's actually really fucked Dude, in here. That's stomach. crazy, man. That's actually not cool. Let's play, I want to play that again, though, because that's, that's amazing. But we'll, let's see what else we said. But yeah, that is yeah. fucking scary. That's one of the most insane EVPs we ever, ever got. Ever. Ever. Same for me. E yeah? Ever. Die. No. Right like that. Gonna die. Right into the thing. Die. Human the voice, fuck? too. Fuck. Dude, <laughs> that's not even cool, bro. All right, let's, well, I want to hear that back. Bro, long. that's weird. Can we, can we go back to that part and then we'll get out of here? Yeah. I just yeah. gotta hear it one yes, more time. Dude. Yeah, no, let's. We should you. do one more session, bro. That's yeah? so crazy. Uh, Whoa! That? Felt like some pinch my leg. I'm feeling. I'm, I'm wearing jeans on purpose because I knew there would be bugs here. Yeah. So I wore thick jeans so that if that would eliminate feeling like I was getting bit in the legs by anything, so it felt like something grabbed my leg hair or pulled. As you're saying, let's do another session. It yanked down all the way down here. 
Um, and it felt like somebody gave it, like, not my pants, my actual hair got pulled. I'm what feeling like hell? a burning sensation on my arm right now. All right, let's check it out. I don't think it's a scratch, but it, does anyone have a light? Like right here, man. It's like. Are there uh, any marks? Do you see anything? No. Not yet, but we'll check again like in a couple. Like right when you said that, man, I started to feel like no. right, right about there, like here. Not yet, bro. Well, we'll check again in a couple minutes and see if anything. Yeah, shows. We like, got it. Let's. That's some of the best this, stuff ever, bro. That's crazy. Ever. That's crazy, dude. Only in freaking Penhurst. For real. Seriously. Dude. I actually want to ask. Me who's too. Gonna die. Dude, that. And if it says one of our names, I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna stop if it says my name. I mean, yeah. I'm up like next. If, if it actually yeah. says one of our names, I'm. Not, I will I'm not stop. Done. But let's. It's probably not anyways. Same room. Yeah. yeah. Oh same yeah. Exactly same where it was, exactly. bro. Okay. That's again one of the craziest EVPs ever. Oh, we oh, asked God, it. Man. Are you go ask us? We asked it. Remember, we even said we said we we're gonna ask if heaven's real. We oh, said yeah. off camera before we came here we we're gonna ask if heaven's real. We did it, and it literally said no. You're gonna you're die. Gonna die. Huh. That is fucking scary. I hate that shit too, man. I know. God, shit. Right? Yeah, man. Oh, are we recording? No, no. Oh, okay. I, I oh, thank said, you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're in. We're in the moment now. I got scared of the room, so oh. I just walked away. Hey, I'll from put it. the light on. <laughs> no, I get, bro. I'm putting the light it's on for okay, us. Okay, man. I'm here for emotional support. I just don't like all this. That's me. Well, oh. <laughs> you said no. You're gonna die. Who is going to die? Can you say one of our names? Are you going to hurt one of us? Who are you going to hurt? Scream if you want us to leave. fast <laughs> I know, man. All right, let's, let's cut hurt. that then yeah yeah let's turn it now let's go check it this is it do you get those EVPs like that often no 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 we don't yeah. ever never never ever not ever I we mean, don't get EVPs like that that is really like, yeah to, absolutely not those are ridiculously good Right, we're getting yeah, we're getting really lucky with that. Where are you, Seth? I'm right here, bro. Oh, I didn't even see you, bro. <laughs> All right, let's hear this back because this is this is actually kind of scary if it does anything. You guys ready? Yep. I'm ready. All right, this is it, boys. There's a music box going off in the hallway. A music box just went off in the hallway. Yeah, there's flashing lights too. Where? There was a flashing light out here, but it's completely I, dark. That was mine at the end. Are you down there at the end of this hall? Do you want <gasps> us to come? No, that's probably, that was probably it was probably one of us, yeah. We're close. If someone's here in this hallway, please give us a sign. We heard you, but it's okay. Just let us know you're here, please. Bro, I swear to God, I heard the music box go no, off. You no, it was. We have it, it, was. We have it on. 100%. And then I saw a light. I don't know if it, I don't think it was one of your cameras. I don't think they're bright enough to make me think that a light's coming from so outside. So here's the thing. Your EVPs? Like this one we just did, it said it said stuff, but it almost can't make it out. But it was gonna, it was going more. Right. Let's, let's just let's, let's refinish it, it and re and yeah, yeah, just right here is fine.
Yes. That's all it said. So, that's nothing. So when we said, it said, yes, he is. When it said, you're going to hurt one of us. Someone else said, yes, he is. I heard, yes, he is. Not sure. It could, I mean, we'll know in, in editing. Yeah. But it said, yes, he is. So someone's speaking for someone else. <laughs> that's what it sounded like. But I couldn't make out anything else. But it was saying everything back. Mm -hmm. Answered every question. Every question Everyone, back. Man. Well, I think we can pack up. That's this, crazy. Because we have man. we have great stuff here where I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Me too. Really happy with yeah, it. Yeah, we can move on to the next building and see, yeah. if, see what else happens. Now I think it's time to go beyond the dark. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I mean, they literally said we're going to die and we're just keep... You know, going with the flow. Yeah. Joking around. Yeah. You know how many times some said you're gonna die to me. I know. Yeah. They always. They do always someday, say things like that. Someday, someday, yeah, baby, I'm gonna go right off this green earth, and then I'm gonna talk to other people like me. I'm gonna be like, there's definitely ghosts over here. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be here. You're gonna die. Run. Get right. out of here. Right. Yeah. That's that's the whole thing. All right. Well, let's go pack let's up, go. boys. We're moving on new buildings. Let's go. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sam, you're just fucking <laughs> with everybody, dude. Yeah, you see, that that's, how you, yeah, that's how you know it's... Yeah, that's how you know it's so... Fucking dark. Yeah. can't see anything Especially right with now. this dude's dark-ass hair, man. Shit. Can you mm. turn a light on, though? No, yeah, no yeah, joke. Yeah. I can't see. <laughs> Skippy is the only entity on the property that we, as investigators, have decided unanimously that we're okay with being more aggressive, with challenging, with being... We don't want him to be comfortable. We, we have a strong uh, belief that whatever Skippy is, is, is a very negative yeah. spirit. Um, and he is um, quite, the, uh, quite the chauvinist, doesn't like women, has, is aggressive towards women. Um, and none of us like that. So because of that, we take every opportunity to make him uncomfortable in his, uh, his little hole down here in the tunnel. Hey. Well, let's bring it to Skippy, man. Yeah, you want to try some crazy stuff? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, if if we got the A-OK, -okay, man. Yep, it's the only spirit on property that we're, we're OK with. It. I never hear someone ask like an owner. No, never, that. dude. <laughs> Legitimately, yeah. I That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's f bring it, dude. Time, yeah. Well, the last time we went down to Skippy's tunnel, we actually never got to talk to Skippy or anything. Nothing happened for us. Interesting. So this will, yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay? Oh. His water just. You got me asked that question a lot today, pal. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, God. Hey, you made my heart skippy. <laughs> yeah, you said, hashtag call and response. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. I got you. Thank call you, man. Call and response, man. Call and response. <sighs> so many meanings. There's a lot of memes. You think we'll ever be comedians one day? Probably not. You think we will be? <laughs> Bitch, we are. Hell yeah, and we are. And that's Torch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, back down the tunnel we go, two years later. You have a lot of keys there, man. I got a lot of keys here. A key master. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you think you could hold that many keys? No way. Me He's neither. holding so many. Practically DJ Khaled. Bro, Damn. look how many keys I hold. Whoa. It's a wireless key. There's no keys. Right? Yeah, no zero keys. keys. Zero keys. Kind of zero keys. Drive, bro. Behold. Just a Subi. Nothing crazy. That's fair. I mean, I used to own a Subi. So, yeah, I remember you did. That was your first car, right? Yeah. I also own a Subi. Oh, All right. Subi Club. Just, yeah, just want to throw that out there. I'm very uh, dog friendly as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude. great. That's great. Yeah, Can you that super response? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's get him that. Oh, man. So, this is one of the larger sections of tunnel that is available to investigate. This tunnel section here is almost uh, 1,300 feet long from this point to the end. And at each juncture of this tunnel, there are a variety of different um, paranormal activity that's been reported. Um, for the tunnel itself, we have a uh, we've whispering, obviously. There's huge echoes, so sound carries, so sound discipline is very important. But whispering, EVPs, EMF, shadow figures, full body apparitions, um, and acute, true interactive poltergeist activity: scratching, biting, pulling, tearing, ripping hair out, like nasty stuff. 
But the tunnel, the Rockwell Tunnel, is predominantly known for an entity that has been come to call, they call him Skippy. Cold bust of air. Right okay. when you said yeah, Skippy, dude, right when you said that. Skippy, I don't know the origins of Skippy's name, but what I do know about Skippy is that it is an entity that is a bully. It is an entity that targets women. It is an entity who does some very negative things repeatedly to the weaker people in the groups that we allow to investigate. Um, and for yeah. that reason, over time, uh, speaking with different mediums, speaking that we believe that Skippy may have engaged in some incredibly nefarious activity. If, he, if it's the spirit of a person, we believe it's the person that he may have, um, he may have been ripping people down here, is one of the stories mm. um, that has come out. And for that reason, we're, we, we, it's gloves off. Like we don't, you know, we don't, we don't hide from Skippy. We don't, we don't, you know, we're not quiet around him. It's, he doesn't like us down here and we're okay with him not liking it. Right. Um, because his, his comfort and his, his rest is not something we worry about because we try to be respectful down here and he treats our paranormal investigators horribly. So let's you know, our let's start our investigators may yeah. treat him all right. just the same so what if we start off a little nice at first to try to get his attention mm -hmm. if he talks we're to ahead. us we're cool but if he doesn't talk to us we get a little more aggressive i'm ready okay and i'll let you right. guys take the walk right. thank you yeah yeah and thank just you. remember the sound discipline because you're going to hear oh, for sure that's why yeah. i leave the tunnel because all you're going to hear is my yeah <laughs> all right Suddenly, we began to hear screaming echoing down from the end of the tunnel that we were hearing with our ears and picking up on the camera. The footage that you're about to see is going to go down in history as one of our scariest moments ever while filming the show and one of our craziest pieces of evidence that we've ever captured. There's somebody down there? Can you use your voice and say something to us? It's Colin here. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I just realized that I never shot 
a true intro to the Penhurst episode with Josh and Seth. Um, as you guys know, we do a weekly giveaway on the channel where we send one of y'all who watch the videos a gift bag with some Paranormal Files merch and stuff like that. So this week, all you have to do to enter the contest, I know we got a bunch of people watching right now on the live. Hi everybody, by the way. Just uh, like the video, make sure let's boost those likes and comment I love Penhurst in the comments section below. Now, I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds to do that right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and thank you. You know, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that helps the videos do better, it helps more people see them, and it helps us do bigger, badder productions. So if you wanna see more videos, make sure you're liking every video, commenting, showing up for the live premiere, and watching the video all the way through. Yeah, but um, it's been a lot of work lately. Got some really, really great collaborations coming up, and uh, I have loved this episode, and I've, I hope that you guys have loved it too, but. Anyways, let's get back to this freaky finale, and I love you guys, and stay spooky. To organize daily, we need like two things. <laughs> yeah, you and I feel like we need to carry everything with us. Yeah. I noticed it, I recognize it pretty. Oh, oh shit! Get ready. Stop! I got it on video at least. Yeah, I'm going to Walking around the hall. Skip it, Zach. That's raging on the road. Yeah, that's crazy. Is that yours? You want to reset that? Yeah. Someone triggered it for it. Okay, let's see. It was like following us, dude. I hope so. I think it was following you guys. You know? It doesn't rip me by the seat of my pants like the last ghost. <laughs> right. But I mean, like, we kept walking, and we were all the way down here when it went off. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. I have it on video. Yeah, show. and my static got it, too. So Skippy's tongue's down here. I get all this. Every time someone asks me what the most intense paranormal experience I've had is, I always tell them the story of what happened to me down here in this tunnel. When, in 2019, I heard a woman screaming top of her lungs, echoing from the end of the tunnel. This tunnel? This tunnel. Oh, so you had crazy stuff happen. All the way to the end. You could hear it all the way on my camera to the end of the tunnel, and it stopped. We're all the way at the end, and it started echoing from back there towards the direction that we were in. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I didn't know that, dude. And my heart was racing. That's why I'm like, I'm on edge down here, man. Yeah, so that makes sense why you would want to come back down here. Yeah, this is like... Yeah, I didn't even know that. This was the experience that I had that made me truly believe in ghosts. Oh, it's over here. This is Skippy's door right here. Yep. There's a couple bats in here, guys. Sorry if you see us. Yeah, I... Ducking real quick. I'm pretty sure this was it, right? This was it, 100%. This was Skippy's door. I'm oh, sorry. So we can, tr yeah, we should try something here. Also, this battery on my static charged all night. It's dead. Look at that. Really? Yeah. Immediately. Whoa. What was that? All right. All right. Oh. I'll stand in for the distance. Okay. Oh! Oh! oh no fucking way. Are you down there at the end of this tunnel? Skippy? Is there somebody here with us? Skippy, you're a piece of Shit. Sounds like besides the raindrops, but footsteps. That was tricky. Sure. We got it. How are you feeling down here? 
Good so far. I don't feel Not bad. Let's see what happens when the lights go. Well, up. that's crazy because like you'll say that, but dude, what the heck triggered the REM pod? So that that's got off all night. yeah, that's our first REM. That was a good first REM pod. Like, I love REM pod work. So. Right before we started the Estes method. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's, you gotta go under, bro. Okay. So Seth, you're gonna do an Estes session. Yeah. How are you feeling before we start? Good as usual. I love doing the Estes method. Well, it's my specialty. Hey man, let's go. Let's do it. See you on the other side, boys. Good luck in there, dude. You can hear how loud that thing is. I heard. I heard Tom. I heard an actual jealous or something came out of that. Skippy, if you're down here with us. Hey. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, Skippy, it is you. Is um, no. Oh. Who is it? Dude. Somebody just said a full sentence and I couldn't hear a word they said. I almost think we caught that. Uh -huh. That we thing is do. really fucking loud, bro. If there's... Who is it if it's not Skippy? Did it say someone help? Kinda sound like it, man. Who's with us? I. I. <laughs> What's your name? Going? Tell me your name. Say the name of somebody inside this tunnel. Are there any evil spirits down here? The uh, REM pop. I see, I have it, yep. Yup, that door made a bang, dude. National. 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 How many fingers am I holding up? Somebody just like yelled. Oh, music box, bro. Dude, you can't even fucking make that no, up. No, you can't. Right when Seth said something yelled, dude. Dude, this is getting good. Okay, if you're down at the end of the hall, Walk down here and tell us your name. It's crazy because the, it's not picking up too much. Don't worry, it's all that way. Idiot. He <laughs> called you an idiot. Yo, fuck him. Fuck you, Skippy. Is that you? What's that? The fucking music box, bro. Just went off right when I said, is that Dude, you? I almost thought it was a hissing. Yeah, that came through the radio, too. Skippy, are you standing right down there? I see you're playing with those devices. Do it again. Can you block out one of the lights? Probably. Go ahead and do it. Good responses. Yeah, dude. Really good responses. I'm not gonna lie, I got a fucking chill, man. Protecting. Protecting. Who is he protecting? Like, oh. Yes. He's protecting that, this, like his door? Oh my god, man. Are you protecting your door? Maybe. Response on point. Do you wanna come down and say hello? This is oh my god, this is good. Man. Something just Go. Go? No, he said he doesn't wanna go. Now it sounds like somebody was walking down there. Come say hello. What's your real name, Skippy?
Whoa. Are you touching anybody? Dude, I got such hardcore goosebumps, man. On that one, yeah. Like, just all of a sudden. Skippy, did you anyone down here? No one likes you here. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Get the f on top. Top? top. What is that? Who's on top of a girl? Oh, on top. Why don't you go home? Oh well. Why are you such a dick? Dude, what's scary is like literally, he cannot hear what the f we're saying. Oh, it's so and he, loud. Yeah, and he's going with it. Can I call you Skippers? You. Yeah. You? I just started walking towards him, man. I was about to say I'm going down here. Go down there and see what happens. Okay, Skippy, I'm gonna walk alone. Or whoever's down here. What are you gonna do to me? <gasps> what? Is that you? Did you just move? Nobody moved. We're completely still. I just turned my body. No. If Who's down here? Something just whistled at me. I heard it. You. Dude, I think it, it's trying to talk to from right over here. Can you whistle again? Get out. Why don't you do some whistling for me? Can you do that? Can you say f Can you say f you? Please get out. I'm feeling very fucking cold, man. Very fucking cold. Why do you want us to leave? Oh! Chill. Footsteps. That's... Who's walking? I... Shit. State your name. Who's the person that said they were, they wanted us killed? Did you hear that? Yes. What was you it? did. Oh. You did? He answered. Did me. you hear? Yeah. <gasps> what the? Did you hear? Dude, he's answering everything we're asking. I know. Can you walk towards that light again, that red light at the end of the tunnel? Show us that you're still here. You were here a couple seconds ago. Yeah. Yeah. Kick a rock. Can you throw a rock? Is heaven real? I know. You. Tell us the truth. This is too creepy, man. I don't I get love. Truth. It's is not love. I get it. Can I take the camera? Yep. Yeah, go for it, man. Skippy, my name is Scott. I'm uh a medium, and I'm here with these boys. I've only ever been here to your domicile once before, and uh, I was wondering how you're doing, buddy. Everybody comes down here. Shut up. Everybody comes down here and treats you like shit, right? Well, maybe I could be your buddy. Like, for the time being, like, while I'm standing here. What do you think about that? Do you like living down here with all the bugs and sprickets and stuff? Somebody's gonna have to. Well, you don't have to. 
Are you stuck here? Go. Jesus Christ. So does not want us down here, man. Dude, this is so, like, legit, though. Yeah. Do you the responses are amazing. Have any kind of words of wisdom for the people who come down here? Skippy, maybe by now you check me out and you know what my profession is. Are you afraid that I can take you out of here? Are the things that they say about you true what you did? Her. Did you hurt her? That's us. Skippy, we're going a little bit further down. I'm following. Just me. I'm so Seth is gonna freak the f out if he doesn't see us, dude. Said. His eye gave that leadership. Yeah. I am the leader. I've been in scarier places than this, believe me. I'm out of here. I'm not what? Right. What did he say? What did he say, Josh? I didn't I couldn't make it out. I'm not trying to threaten you or intimidate you. I'm just trying to get some answers here. And I'm being pretty nice about it, I think. A lot of people, fake. fake. A lot of people think that you're scared. Fake. Right? You think that I'm fake, Skippy? I'm the realest motherfucker meeting you'll ever meet. Follow. Follow. Is it right to be following us down here? You can follow me all you want. Dead people follow me everywhere, pal. Here. Here? Follow here? Where's okay. here? Do you have a message for us while I'm standing down here at the end of the hallway? You can keep talking through Seth. He's doing a good job. Yeah, Seth's doing an amazing job with this. Why don't you do something that would, like, even impress me? Hey, Skippy! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Holy shit. Right here, Skippy! What? I need the white kid. Yo, what white kid? Yo, do you guys remember earlier when I said in the kitchen, is there anybody nicknamed Whitey here? Yo! What the fuck? You guys remember me saying that? Yes. Whore for mental health? And we just came from the infirmatory. Yeah, dude. dude, this is insane. Is what we're getting is empty. Abby, are you here? Put. Put? Skippy! Remember, it said follow. We have to follow, but where are they? Where do you want us to follow you to? That could be me. Abby, are you down here? I'm knocking on your door, Skippy. Can you knock back? You, Seth. Seth. Knock three times if you want me. Gonna knock again. Please. So. What's up, Ghost? Must have. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Is this, what, what's been you guys doing down here? Uh, well, I'm kind of just staring into the dark. Yeah. Something <laughs> happened. This is. A, a very different vibe down here, man. Hootie hoo! 
Where do you want us to follow? What the fuck was that, dude? I, didn't see I got guys. tapped on top of my head. I didn't I was see going... What is that? Skippy, was that you? Could've been a bug. I feel weird, dude. I get, I get, I get freaked out a lot, though. How do you feel? Down, down. You've seen me. you see seen me? I see you. Well, where? That's not really, he, he's not showing himself to me whatsoever. So, you can't, so he's like, a strong? I, well, he's strong or a big baby because he doesn't want to show me what he looks like. Like that thing in the uh, infirmary was like, hey, this is what I look like to who I am. This particular spirit is not showing himself or herself or whatever it is. What's your name, Skippy? Tell me a story, Skip. Yeah, maybe. what I'm just telling you the way of the world out there seems like you didn't like women but they named a doll after you a little girl doll I had so many Do talking about dolls women holy f dude you okay yeah. you all right Calm. if you're starting to feel like a certain way let us know because we are kind of poking the bear here and it could upset you Skipper, are you trying to say Colin here? Skippy, do you want us to bring you a girl? I can't believe Seth's still in that I session, know. guys. Oh, huh. He's been like zoned out just to, but bro, that's actually one of the best S F this method ever. 18 what, did we say anything? He said I had so many, now he said 18. One of the best sessions ever, yeah, though. Yeah, that was ridiculous. No. Honestly, bro? Crazy. Some of the best yeah, ever. Really? Yes. Dude, Dude the yes. Intense as f man. Really? Seriously, one of the best ones ever. Like, we're all good we come down. I almost felt like I wasn't seeing I don't even remember. Dude. What time is it? Well, here's the funny thing. The analog part of my watch says it's 2 a.m. However, the digital part of my watch reset itself, like all the way reset itself, 25 minutes ago. What? So it wait, says what it, time is it? My then? digital watch says it's 12:25. The analog part says it's 2 a.m. Yeah. It might be time to dip now, well, dude. That was actually uh, the best way to end this. Really? Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Dude. Watch the, dude the some of the best shit back. ever. I can't wait to see. It's some of the best stuff ever, seriously though, for real. This is the crazy part, because sometimes like when you do the Estes, you don't know what's being said. It's, mm -hmm. it's you said you had a lot of women, by the way. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like crazy yeah, dude, stuff. you did such a good job. Like 100% great and job. What's good too is like when this is going off and he's replying to us, we're getting the REM pod going off. We're yeah, getting the noises. Oh, and the music really? box. Yeah, yeah and the music box. Oh, that's so good. So we have the stuff to back up what's happening here. Mm -hmm. This is what makes us crazy good. That's awesome. I Dude, there was one really creepy time when the music box and REM pod went off and you like said, I can't remember, but like coming or like here, some shit right after it went really? off. Really? We like, oh. That's wild. It's a good, it was a good, yeah, it was a it really was super good. spooky. Actually, yeah. this was way better than our first time here. Damn. Yeah, this was solid. That's good to hear. Oh, yeah, man. I can't wait good to see job. This, back. this was really good. Yeah. Well, fantastic job for all you guys. Great job. Nice. Good job. Very impressive. I think it's time to pack it up and yep. we can wrap up later, but oh, yeah. let's get the hell out of this tunnel, man. Yeah, let's get our gear <laughs> seriously. At the end of the day, Penhurst is a place where mystery is alive. I don't know who's haunting the buildings. I don't know what's inside of those old, crumbling, decrepit halls. But I can tell you that there is something there. Every time I've gone, I've never felt like I knew who I was talking to or what they were trying to say. All I knew was that there was somebody with us, especially that night with Josh and Seth. Something seemed angry, 
something seemed different about Penhurst. I don't know if because they've been giving tours there lately that whatever's there is a little more pissed, if it doesn't want as many visitors as it has coming through, but maybe you'll just have to go take a visit and find out for yourself. It's Colin Brown, everybody. Good night and stay spooky. Hello! <laughs>